Hey everyone, I just wrapped up my playthrough of Dead Island 2 and I wanted to share my thoughts with you all. I've been a fan of the Dead Island series since the first two games were released over a decade ago. There's something about their simplicity and jankiness that I've always loved. If you didn't know, the series was created by Techland, the same studio behind the Dying Light series, which is like an evolved version of Dead Island. To prepare for Dead Island 2, I recently replayed the original games and they're still a blast to play. They're fun, a little rough around the edges, but still hold up well. Now, let's talk about Dead Island 2. It took some time for me to get into the mechanics, even though they're somewhat similar to the originals. I went through the main storyline, tackled numerous side missions, and even completed some challenging lost and found missions. In terms of gameplay, mechanics, and combat, I found the general navigation to be smooth. The controls were responsive, and I didn't encounter any bugs or major issues during my playthrough on PC. Managing the game was pretty solid too, with fixed item inventory limits, plenty of vendors to buy, sell items, and lots of things to discover and collect. Combat is the heart of the game, especially in the first half. Melee weapons are abundant, but they decay over time and require frequent repairs, just like in the original games. However, repairs are easy to manage with enough supplies scattered throughout the game world. Dealing with hordes can be tough early on, but it becomes more balanced as the game progresses. As you advance, firearms become more prevalent and powerful. But ammo remains limited until later stages, so it's important to use your resources wisely. Skills, on the other hand, were a bit of a letdown. There's no traditional skill tree. Instead, you have skill cards that you combine in a somewhat confusing way. Personally, I didn't fully grasp how to utilize them effectively, so I mostly ignored them throughout my 80-hour playthrough. Except for one skill that allowed me to kick zombies and make them explode, the rest of the skill cards felt vague and unclear. On the bright side, the maps and set pieces in Dead Island 2 are fantastic. It took me some time to explore without constantly dying. But once I got the hang of it, the game world was a visual treat. Set in a zombie-infested Los Angeles, it felt immersive and true to its post-apocalyptic setting. Lastly, if you enjoy the zombie-filled world of Dead Island, the game offers great replayability. I played as the generic starter character, but I'm excited to try another character with unique abilities for a fresh playthrough. Overall, Dead Island 2 was a fantastic experience, especially in a time when many AAA games have been lackluster. It provided the mindless zombie-killing action I was craving. If that's your cup of tea, I definitely recommend giving it a go.